What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. We've got the great, pro professional, legendary session guitar player, Tim Pierce. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, really, always, always love having you here and have gotten great feedback with you being here. He's going to give a lesson, you know, while you're here, you might as well teach something. Yeah, I got to. Okay, I keep so, going. So yeah. let's zoom in and break it down. So this is a lovely R&B riff. Lovely is a lovely word, and this is a lovely R&B riff. <laughs> And I've been doing this kind of thing for a long time. It originated in the 60s in Motown, probably, maybe even before that. I have to, I have to check, check my research for that. But the, the names that got bandied about were like um, uh, Steve Cropper. People ask me to play like Steve Cropper, and this is what I do. But there are lots of other guys. David T. Walker was another one. Lots of guys. Use these kind of riffs on great classic records forever. So what I'm doing, this is in the key of D. It could be anywhere, but I'm kind of visualizing it, this D chord right here. And I'm bringing my index finger up to grab the top of this D chord. We have a D here, we have a D here. I'm doing it right here. So it's, it's the seventh fret. That's kind of where my hand is resting. And I take my index finger and bar across two strings to make this happen. The first two strings I use are the fourth and fifth string. So I take my index finger, and this is the seventh fret, fifth string, and then I, I grab the next string over, seventh fret, fourth string, and I sound them. And you can use a pick, but I'm using my fingers because it makes it warmer. I like, I like to try and use my fingers when I can to, to, to make a more kind of mellow sound. But you can use your pick, whatever's easiest for you. It's just a different sound. So the first thing I'm doing is grabbing these two notes together, and I do a hammer-on, which is a two-note hammer-on, which might be a, a bit of a challenge, might not, but it's a good thing to practice. And the challenge really is, what you're, what you're doing is you're taking your third finger and you're grabbing, on the same strings, you're grabbing notes that are exactly you know, two frets up. It's a, it's a whole note up. And the really the challenge of it is you don't want any of these other strings to ring. You want to be able to strike with your third finger and just sound these two strings, the same strings you had down here. Okay, so you do that successfully, hopefully, and then you go over with your index finger and grab the next two notes on the third and fourth string. This is very easy. The only hard part is this hammer-on where you are sounding those two notes with your third finger and making sure these three strings don't sound at all. That's the hard part. So then you pick with your right hand. You're just moving your index finger one string over. That's the first part of the phrase, and this is really fun now. Now you take your index finger and you just slide it up two frets. And then slide it back down. So you only are picking it once, but you're getting a couple more phrases out of it. And you're doing it for a musical reason. You could pick it. It's just a different sound. It's kind of smoother and mellower. So that's the first part of the phrase. I'll do it really slowly. And then to finish the phrase, I take these two fingers, the third finger and the, the little finger, I kind of plant them here, which is kind of on an A note and an E note. So it's the 10th fret, second string with your little finger and it's the ninth fret, third string, with your third finger. And that's, that's where they're starting, but I'm not gonna stay there long. I'm gonna use that as a starting point to slide up. Two frets. And then I slide back down. And much like the way I did this, I'm only picking once. It's all with the left hand. Slide up, slide down. And you want, the, the, you want to try and 
make sure that you're, you're, you're holding on strong enough, you're pressing down strong enough so that all the notes sound, and that's, that's a challenge. Slide up, hold, keep the strings pressed down so that the notes sound nice and sweet and strong after you drop down. Okay, then the last thing in this phrase, it's I'm taking my index finger and I'm just going two strings over to the second and third string. And that's how I end it. So I've basically done this with my index finger throughout the phrase. And the last, the last piece of this phrase is the index finger on the, let's see, three, five, seventh fret, third string, and then the seventh fret, second string. So you're up here, and you land. And, and to review, you're kind of, kind of hovering around the top of a D chord right here, this D chord. So that, that'll have it make sense for you you're in the key of D major. So here we go. Beautiful phrase, kind of the kind of thing John Mary uses a lot. But it came from a long time ago. Hey, Tim, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Uh, always love having you here, like I've said many times, and I'm going to keep saying it. And I'm also going to keep telling people to check out your YouTube stuff, oh, thanks, which is in thanks. the link down there. Thanks. And uh, can't wait to see what else you got for yeah, us. Thanks for all the comments. <laughs>